Good morning, everyone. I am Miss Sarah. It's good to see you. As you can see, again, I have company. I'm in a dairy barn, and I have some Holstein cows during milking time to join us while we're doing story time this morning. Let's get started with our opening song. This is Old MacDonald. One, two, three. Old MacDonald had a farm. together. So finger pencils up, curve up and down and back up a little bit and off just like that. The letter C. Let's do it one more time, okay? So start up here and curve down and around and back up and off just like that. The letter C. Good job. Okay, so this particular book is by Doreen Cronin with pictures by Betsy Lewin and it's called Click Clack Moo Cows That Type. Kind of a silly book. Hopefully the cows in this barn don't get any ideas. Farmer Brown has a problem. His cows like to type. All day long he hears click clack, mmm, click clack, mmm, clickety clack, mmm. At first he couldn't believe his ears. Cows that type impossible. Click clack, mmm, click clack. Mm. Clickety clack. Mm. Then he couldn't believe his eyes. Dear Farmer Brown, the barn is very cold at night. We'd like some electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. It was bad enough. The cows had found the old typewriter in the barn. Now they wanted electric blankets? No way, said Farmer Brown. No electric blankets. So the cows went on strike. They left a note on the barn door. Sorry, we're closed. No milk today. No milk today, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard the cows busy at work. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack. Mm. The next day, he got another note. Dear Farmer Brown, the hens are cold too. They'd like electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. The cows were growing impatient with the farmer. They left a new note on the farmer's door. Closed, no milk, no eggs. No eggs, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard them. Click, clack, mm. click, clack, mm. clickety, clack. Mm. Cows that type, hands on strike. Whoever heard of such a thing? How could I run a farm with no milk and no eggs? Farmer Brown was furious. Farmer Brown got off his own typewriter. Dear cows and hens, there will be no electric blankets. You are cows and hens. I demand milk and eggs. Sincerely, Farmer Brown. Duck was a neutral party, so he brought the ultimatum to the cows. There's Duck. The cows held an emergency meeting. 
all the animals gathered around the, the barn to snoop, but none of them could understand. All night long, Farmer Brown waited for an answer. How do you think the cows are gonna answer? Will they stay on strike? Duck knocked on the door early the next morning. He handed Farmer Brown a note. Dear Farmer Brown, we will exchange our typewriter for electric blankets. Leave them outside the barn door and we will send Duck over with the typewriter. Sincerely, the cows. Farmer Brown decided this was a good deal. He left the blankets next to the barn door and waited for Duck to come with the typewriter. Look, there are the cows wearing their electric blankets all nice and warm. The next morning, he got a note. Dear Farmer Brown, the pond is quite boring. We'd like a diving board. Sincerely, the ducks. Click, clack, quack. Click, clack, quack. Click, clack, quack. Uh-oh, did Farmer Brown get his typewriter back? No, the ducks got it. And it looks like they got their diving board too. Thank you for reading that with me. Okay, so our felt story today So I went to a farm when I was two, and on that farm I heard a moo. Who said moo? Horse, did you say moo? No way, horse said. I say nay. Who said moo? Lamb, did you say moo? Mm? No, ha ha, lamb said bah. Who said moo? Did this animal say moo? What does this animal say? Yeah, cats say meow. He didn't know how. So who said moo? Dog, did you? That would be tough, said dog. Dog said woof. Who said moo? Hen, did you say moo? No such luck. Hen said luck. I was feeling so sad, I wanted to cry when a black and white cow came walking by. Do you know what she said? I think you do. Let's say it together. The cow said moo. Good job. I have an audience over here, some cows paying attention too. Okay, so let's finish up with our last song. This is Shaken Like a Leafy Tree. Okay, this is by The Wiggles. If you like this song, we have a lot of their music, if not all of it I could get my hands on, in our collection at the Belt Branch. So go ahead and check out some of their CDs. It's awesome stuff. Okay, so we're gonna shake high, we're gonna shake low, and we're gonna bend. Good job. See y'all next week.